Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation testing series and this is our sixth tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn about the data types in Python so let's begin. In our previous tutorials we learned that what are the variables. So variables are basically used to store a data value. Okay. So when we talk about the data value, so data can be your name, your number, your address. So they are different, right? So when we talk about the Python data types, so Python data types are basically a classification of the data. Okay, so the first classification we will talk about is a numeric. So let me open a notepad here and I will say data types. And the first classification is basically a numeric. Okay, so your data can be a number. So number can be basically an integer like 10. It can be a float or decimal value. So decimal can be like 10.5 and it can be a complex number. So it can be like 50 J. Okay. The second classification is basically a string. Then we have a sequence and all things. But before diving into those data types, just let's go to the patch up here and learn about this one. So let me create one new Python file here and I'm naming it as data types. So in numeric, numeric, we have the integer float and complex. So I'm creating a variable a equals to 10. Then I will create variable b equals to 15.5. This is a float value. Then c equals to 50 j so this is a complex value now let's print these uh, values here and when i'm printing these values okay so first print these values and see what happens here so let me print all these three so b and then c here and run this one now so you see that all three videos are printed here now what we need to do is that we are saying that the value a is basically an integer value b is a float value and the value c is a complex value so let's confirm this thing so in python we have a method called type and inside this will value pass a value here okay so let me remove these ones and now let's run this one so you see that it says that this is the integer and let's go for the second one and run this one here you see that this is a float this is a decimal value is a float so this type of data is basically a float value and the third one is basically a complex let's confirm this as well so you see that this is a complex so in numbers you have simple integers you have a float and the complex now let's talk about the second one second one is basically a string so a string is basically a collection of characters so collection of characters means if i say uh, testing funder so there are two words and the first word is testing here and this testing is basically a string because this word is a collection of characters so it has a letter t e s t i n g then the second word is funda where we have a characters collection of characters f u n d a okay now let me go back to pycharm here and let me say uh, d equals two and when we talk about strings we need to provide that in the double quotes okay we can also provide in the single quotes and we can also provide in the triple quotes let's see all these three so first We'll go with the testing funda with the double quotes and here just see the type here. Okay. And run this one. So you see that this is a string here. Right. And we can also provide the single quote over here and run this one. Again, this is a string and our code is working fine. And the third thing is that here we are typing a single word or single line but in case you need to have a paragraph with the multiple lines then how you can define that so that needs to be defined in the triple quote okay 
so here I'll say this is python python for and I'm going to second line here and here I'm saying that python for automation testing then I'll say by testing okay and now if I run this one you will see that it says string now uh, what I'll do is that let's print this this and see how it gets printed okay so here I simply remove the type method from here and simply go with this one so you see that this is python for in the first line then line break then second line the line break and the third line okay so whenever you have to define a paragraph where a multiple line is string so you need to go with the triple quotes here okay now we have so far talk about numeric and a string but in the cases where you have a collection of data so in python we call them as a sequence data type okay so sequence data type and in the sequence basically we have three data types the first one is the list the second one is tuple and third one is range okay so when when we have to create so tuple and the list are pretty much similar the reason is that they have a collection of similar items in an ordered form and when we talk about them here so let's go to the pie chart here and let me create one list so i will say list is equals to now this will be a collection of numbers and here if you define a list you need to use these large brackets okay so one comma two comma three comma four comma five and now let's print both of these here and see the type here as well okay so i need to pass this list here instead of d and here as well now i run this one and see so you see that this got printed and this is a list here in a similar way we can create a tuple here so i'll say tuple is equals to and when we create tuple it needs to be created with the small brackets okay and here uh, this one and let's go here copy this one and when we talk about this one so let's pass this one here and this one here and run this one so you see that it's, it's a tuple and it printed the values of that tuple and then the third thing here is a range now apparently the list and tuple looks like very much seen here so what is the difference so difference uh, basically i will talk about this thing in my upcoming tutorials but as of now understand one thing there are two different categories of data types one are mutable okay one are mutable and other are immutable not mutable or immutable immutable mutable so one which we can mutable and immutable okay mutable and immutable so basically mutable data types are those data types which can be modified which can be changed and immutable data types are those data types which cannot be modified which cannot be changed we cannot add a value we cannot modify a value so this is the difference so in in my upcoming tutorials i will talk about this immutable immutable data types right now apparently this looks like the same to you but these are not same because one of this is mutable and other one is not mutable okay and then we have a range simply i'll say range is equals to so let me give an example you go to a mobile shop and you want to buy a mobile and you have a certain budget in mind like for example you can spend from hundred dollars to five hundred dollars you have that range so it, it varies from hundred to five hundred so similarly this is the case here so i can say the range is six here and let's print this one and when we print you will see it will start from zero because 
I mean, I'm not giving a start value here. So by default, it will go with the zero here. So let's print this range and also let's check a type of this one here. And let me print the type range here. And let's run this one. So here, print range. Okay. So the problem here is that whenever we need to define a range, we need to use a word called range here. Okay. And now let's run. So you see that it printed range 0, 6. So it assumes that it will start from 0 and end with and at 6. But what we can do is that we can also provide the range here. I say let's start with 1 and 6 and go here. So you will see that the range is 1 to 6 and it says that this is a range. Okay. And now uh, we have another type. So let me go here and which but we call it as a mapping data map mapping of data so basically we can create a data in the combination of key and pair okay and key and pair is basically data looks like something like that okay so here i'm giving a first key this is the key colon and the value so value is position for example okay now this kind of a data is known as dictionary okay and let me go here and let's create a dictionary type of data dix equals two and i'll say like let's create with name colon then i'll say testing funder okay then what we can do comma the second key and here we say that um type right and the type is basically we say it's a software testing channel okay now uh, let's print these ones and see here so let's pass dictionary here and here as well and run this one so you see that it says that this is a type of dictionary where we are providing the data in the form of key and pair so key and value so here name is a key and testing funda is a value so so whenever you want to give this kind of a data so you you need to use dictionary here okay then we have a boolean data type so boolean data type is basically refers to if we go here and say boolean so boolean means either your data can be true or it can be false so basically true and can be false here okay so let's let's go to the pycharm here and let's define uh boolean t so i'm intentionally giving the value here true but when you are working on the actual program so your program might be returning a true or false based on different conditions okay and here uh, if i go here and copy this one and paste this one and let's provide this value here and here and run this one so here you will see that it says that this is a boolean and it returned true here in a similar way if you say false here okay uh, so you see that it's a false and again it says that it's a data which is a boolean type right and then we have a final data type which is known as a set data type so set data type is basically is similar to the dictionary but you will be directly providing a value not providing the key here okay so and this kind of data is very important because when you are working with the JSON, so APIs, REST APIs, you will get in this kind of a data in return. So that's really helpful. Now uh, let's go to here. And the final one is basically set data type. So here we have a two. One is simple set and the other is frozen. Okay. So frozen set. So basically, uh, the difference between set 
then the first set is similar like a difference between list and tuple. Here it's very much obvious that frozen set means this set cannot be modified. This, this set cannot be modified which means that this is immutable. Immutable is a data which cannot be changed or modified. So that's the difference between you know set and the frozen set. In our upcoming tutorials, we will talk about these things in practical and see what it actually means. So now let's go here and let's create a simple set. And you see here also you need to provide a curly braces, but instead of key and value, simply give the value. I'm just simply giving a value here. Okay, and now um, print these values and see the type here as well. Simply copy this one, paste this one, and paste this one here. And let's run this one. So you see that it says that this is a set, and here it printed the our set from here. And now the final one, which is a frozen set. So I will say frozen equals two. And again, here just like you know, a range we have a frozen set, and here I need to provide the value. And here, the only catch is that it should be private in the small brackets. We need to provide this large brackets because this frozen set is basically a function, okay? So that's the reason here. So, two, three, four, five, and now let me copy this one and paste this one here and let's print and check the type here now let's run this one so here you see that we got a response that is the frozen set so in in nutshell the data which we store in the variable can be of the different types and these types can be numeric, the data can be numeric, it can be integer, float, or complex number, it can be a string, it can be a collection of data like list, tuple, and range, it can be a mapping of data dictionary, it can be a boolean, it can be a set data type where we can keep the set or the frozen set. Okay, and we know that some of them are mutable and some of them are not mutable. So we will see that what this means. We know that mutable are those ones which can be changed or which can be modified and immutable are those data types which cannot be modified. So in our upcoming tutorials, we will see that how practically it works and what are the actual differences. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.